Okay guys, I just want to show you this part really quick. Um, if you watched my previous video on how to install a one terabyte hard drive in your PS3, you should watch this as well to install latest official firmware onto the PlayStation 3. Now you're going to need a flash drive if you read my details. So you just put the flash drive in the PS3 system. Doesn't matter which US USB slot you use, doesn't matter. And as you can see, I'm going to take my paddle. It asks you to hit start and select. It says checking. It's reading the drive. As you can see, the uh, flash drive actually. It takes a good minute to read, so. There you go. So now it says the system partition will be formatted. So you're going to go ahead and hit start and select again. Did I do it? Oh, hold it for five seconds, sorry. You hold start and select for five seconds, and then I'll go ahead and format the PS3. Now, I'm on a low battery on my camera, so when this is doing the process for the five minutes, I'm going to go ahead and pause the video in a minute. So whenever this shows up, I'll pause the video. Like I said, you got to be pretty patient with this. There you go. So now it says formatting. I'm going to pause this and then I'll get back to you when it hits 100%. Okay guys, it's 100% and it'll boot up to the main menu as it should. It's just uh, rebooting. PS3 system software 4.31 that's what is installed in the system so you're going to go ahead and hit the PS button and it's just checking for the installed update data in the hard drive already and then this will actually install it so here we go you're just going to want to agree to this just going to hit right accept and then hit X for enter there you go installing so yeah this installs in about five minutes so I'm gonna go ahead and yet yeah, pause the video again and I'll be right back to you guys okay so it actually installed 100 percent and we'll be presented with this screen Yep, there you go. So this will basically restore it to factory settings like if you just first brought the PS3 system. So with this part, you're gonna actually need your paddle plugged in for people that have wireless paddles. Unlike me, I have a wired paddle so I don't have to worry. So you hit the PS button. In my country, it's gonna be English, so depending on where your nation is. Um, I also have an HDMI cable, and if you do have one, hit yes to auto-config that. My battery's gonna die, guys, so. Okay. Okay, I just wanna quickly show you guys that on my system it says uh, almost a gig. It takes off about 20 gigs because of the system files. So let me hurry up. Go to system settings, then go to system information. 
I'm gonna zoom in really quick. As you can see, 828 gigabytes out of 931. So, there you go, guys. Enjoy.